In this tutorial, we are going to touch upon basic lighting. In order to have lighting, first of all, let's have something that we can light up. So I'm going to create a plane. If you'd like to re get rid of the grid, you can press G on your keyboard. That will get rid of the grid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box over here. I will create a teapot and I will create a cylinder. Let's also create a sphere in there as well. If I was to create this sphere, the gizmo of the sphere is, or the pivot point of the sphere is at the center of the sphere. So if I was to click and drag here, unlike the other items, the sphere does not sit on top of the polygon or on top of this plane. It actually sits over here. I could, number one, select the, uh, create the sphere, and then go to, um, Go to the front viewport, press F4 so I can see the um, the plane as well. And then using my move tool, bring this up and then make sure that it stays on the plane. That's one option that I could have. The other option is, I could say, go to sphere. And now what I could say is, rather than having the pivot at the center, I could say base to pivot. And it will create the teapot, or, sorry, or the sphere, sorry. Um, on top of the plane because this plane is sitting exactly on the grid and this sphere is also being made on the grid and just to let you know if this plane was not at the grid level and it was up here so if you look at it it's above the other if I wanted to create this sphere for example on top of this grid if I click right now it won't go on top of it because this sphere is being made at grid level if I want the sphere to sit on this I could click on auto grid up here and I could click and drag and I will consider each item that I select to be the base of that object so if I wanted it to put, uh, the, the sphere to go up here I could go on top of this and create one I'm gonna turn this off delete these okay in order to create a light you need to go to the create tab go to lights and here you can choose a light to use. In this case, we're not going to be using any photometric lights. We're going to be using standard lights. And you have different type of lights that you can use. In this case, I'm going to create a skylight. But before I do that, I'm actually select these items. Go to the modify panel. I just change the color to something slightly different so that we have different colors in the scene. So back to create tab, lights, make sure you choose standard from this uh, drop down menu and then you want to choose skylight. And then it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter where you click, just create a skylight. Just make sure once you create that, you will go ahead and click the move tool immediately because if you don't, you will still be in the skylight and when you keep on clicking, you will just create more and more of these skylights. You only need one. So I'm gonna select the one that I just made delete them okay when using skylight or at least for this method that we are going to use right now what you may want to do is press F10 to go to your render menu or you could click on render setup so either F10 or that doesn't matter gives you this because I'm using 3ds max design by default my renderer is set to mentor ray if I want to change that to sky uh, to scan line I will need to go in the common tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom of, of my menu, click on assign renderer, mine says mentor ray. Uh, if you're not using 3ds Max design, yours will probably say scanline renderer. But if you want to change that, you can click on this and you could choose scanline. And that will give you scanline there. If you have scanline and want to change it to mentor ray, you can click on this and then choose mentor ray from the list. But in this case, I want to say cancel because I want to have scanline here. And then you want to go to advanced lighting and then from the drop down menu choose light tracer and in order to render this you can either press f9 on your keyboard or you can just click render here or you could click render here but i like to use shortcut so i'm going to press f9 and that will start creating a render for me so you can see i'm going to click on this icon actually here in order to copy what i have 
and I'm going to undo the effects of the light. So I'm going to delete the light. I'm going to press F10 to go to my light settings. And I'm going to go to advanced lighting and change that. Um, so it's, it's no longer a light tracer. And I'm going to press F9. So you can see the difference between the two renders. You can see that here, where the objects meet with the plane, we have some darker pixels, some shadows. And the overall colors of on these items look much better. This is just a very quick and rough method of getting quick renders. One thing you need to have in mind, however, is if you have many polygons and reflections and such and such, scanline render will be very, very slow. So you need to use the, right, uh, the correct render method at the right time. But in this video tutorial, we will only talk about skylight and hopefully I will create more tutorials talking about other lights and how to increase your render settings. Thank you.